January 1st, the Citrus Bowl, Alabama and Michigan, two top 15 all-time programs, 12 p.m. Central on ABC. It's from Orlando. 9-3 and three Michigan, 10-2 and two Alabama. Uh, Alabama's Terrell Lewis, linebacker, defensive back, Trayvon Diggs, and now the nose tackle DJ Dale will not be playing the first two because they are sitting out to prep for uh, their pro careers. Uh, DJ Dale has been injured since basically the beginning of November, and he will not be back in time for this ball game. He's he's had complications with the knee injury. Uh, Alabama six and one against the spread and straight up against the Big Ten under Nick Saban. The last time that Alabama lost more than one regular season game, they also played in the Citrus Bowl. And they beat Michigan State 49-7 to as an eight-point favorite. Uh, right now, they are a seven-and-a-half-point favorite. The total is 59. That's up from 54-and-a-half where it opened. Now, let's talk about the last, uh, last 10 times that Alabama has been in bowl games. They are 3-7 and seven against the spread. But on the other side of this, since 2015, the Big Ten teams are 2-10 and 10 against the spread and 3-9 and nine straight up against the SEC. It is the SEC speed and whatnot that everybody talks about. It, who knows, right? Um, I think, because you, you, can't, you can look at strength of schedule, you can look at you know, all these different things. Uh, Alabama's number two in the country in turnover margin. Michigan is uh, not <laughs> at all. I think that Alabama comes out and proves a point. All of their juniors and whatnot are playing in this game. They've all come out and said, you know, Jerry Judy and the uh, obviously Tua Tagovailoa not playing because he's out. But all of the guys that have the pro potential, uh, they are all playing in this game, and they all have been going at practice insanely hard. I'm uh, I'm siding on Alabama here minus the seven and a half. Uh, I do like the over fifty nine. Uh, because I do think Alabama is going to put up massive points here. Uh, I, I just don't think that this is a good matchup for Michigan. If they had gone in and maybe had a different circumstance where Alabama wasn't so determined to uh, to get that bad taste out of their mouth, like out of the Auburn game, I think Michigan might would have had a, a better shot here. But I'm I'm rolling Alabama, and I'm rolling pretty big. Yeah, I, th- I think Bama wins this thing. This is now this is the one game where you get to talk about motivation. If if we come out in the first quarter, uh, uh, Stanford Steve and, and the Bear talk about this all the time on their show. Sometimes you think one thing's going to happen in these bowl games, and you can watch two drives and say, "Nope, it's going this way," or "Yep, you were right," and you could double down on it. And that's why live betting comes into play. You won't get as good of a number. Yeah, but if you can tell in the first couple of drives that Bama wants to be there, you hammer Bama hard. If you can tell in the first couple of drives that they don't, you hit Michigan, you hit them big. Yeah, because you're gonna. This is all about a want to. And if Bama wants to come out and roll out their A-listers and, and, and bring the playbook, they can and they will. And just there's a different separation. I, I like Michigan. I've been high on them all year, but you know. They've it's, been it's handled just different. by teams that are physically bigger and stronger and faster than them. This is no different whatsoever. Uh, not to mention, on top of that, there is uh, the motivation for Saban. Uh, he and, and Gaddis, he was not a fan of, of the way that Gaddis left. Because uh, Gaddis apparently didn't even tell Saban that he had taken the job with Harbaugh uh, until it had already happened. Like, he didn't talk to him about it, etc. cetera. Um, and Gaddis He's was one of these guys. That, drive. Why would you talk to your old boss about leaving him for the same job? Well, I think that there was a there was a set of it, circumstances it's not like around. I'm this. going to take a head coaching job, and so I would like some recommendations, some advice, some experience. You don't need any of that. I've been your OC. Now I'm going to go be this guy's OC. Well, the the issue is there was a chance that he was going to be the OC yeah, uh, at Alabama. To. He so, wanted. Yeah, and that's that's what we're figuring out, right? It, it, he brought in all these new guys last year and had to switch them back up again this season because he thought he was going to bring in these young guys and keep them around for a while. Um, but that didn't happen. So yeah. that, that did not happen. So Don't be uh, such an asshole to people and they'll stay working for you. Are you uh, you rolling Alabama? Yes. All right, Alabama minus seven and a half, and you're taking the over? Yeah, I'm the same, we're the same way on this one. Okay. Minus seven and a half, we're going over 59. All right.